an award-winning stand-up, a novelist, and a grumpy old woman. But that didn't stop her bringing some much-needed humour to the most recent series of I'm a Celebrity. And while some fainted, another screamed, this lady took to the trials like ducks to water, finishing in a most respectable third place. Please welcome Jenny Clare. Yes. Yes. Upset me because the sight of me in shorts, I, I looked so much like my father. And even, <laughs> even when I was there in the jungle and I'd pull these Ransdell shorts and I, there'd be a voice in my head going, You should really put some long trousers on, Jane. But there's another <laughs> voice in my head going, Gah! Jenny, though, I thought there must be somebody else called Jenny Eclair because I thought it can't be Jenny Eclair. You in the jungle? I didn't make sense. I know, I know. It wasn't right, was it? No, it, it wasn't was right. A very odd thing. Um, I, there are reasons why I went. One of which was I'd just lost a very dear friend and I was in a sort of odd state and I wasn't meant to go. I didn't know I was going. Oh. I was in the bath and I was weeping in the bath um, and my agent phoned and said, is your passport up to date? And I thought, where am I going? Where am I going? And he said, they might need you in Australia. They thought Gillian was going to walk, you see. Right. So I was flown over there, and then they right. thought, well, why waste the fare? Yeah. You know, yeah. shove the old biddy in yeah. and see what she can do. But you seem to enjoy it. Well, the, the word Did enjoyment you? isn't quite no. right. I put up, I'm sort of old army, you know, my dad's an army mm. officer. Yeah. And I, I just get on with it. Yeah, a little yeah. bit of just get on with it. And so, I felt that when you first went in, I thought you wanted to go in and stir things up a bit because you kept saying, oh, come on, let's wind them up. But then, and I thought, is she gonna be, am I going to like her or not like her because she's going to be a troublemaker? But you went the no, other you way. You were that fabulous. became quite reasonable. You to did. Me. Yes, how odd. Oh, but you know what? There isn't any booze. So. <laughs> <laughs> Jenny that we saw in, in the jungle? I, I suppose really so, because I can't keep it up. I can't fake it that calm. long. Yeah. I was quite calm, mm. but uh, there were moments of resentment. Mm. Uh, I know that I did have to go away and bite mm. pieces Things. of wood. Um, well, did, did, you, did you learn anything about yourself while you were in there? I refused to go on an emotional journey. They kept yeah. trying to say, they <laughs> kept trying to force me to say, oh, my journey, and I just yeah, wouldn't. I, you know. Yeah, I, um, I thought, I mean, you were, you, the trials, you were, all those things oh, without yeah. so much of a... I was starving, love. I was starving. Well. <laughs> 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 uh, to be quite honest with you, I'd have kangaroo anus over any turkey day. any day for Christmas Day. If they did it in Sainsbury's, I would <laughs> very much. Oh, yes. Right, and did, did you yes. feel like you were doing your bit for the, for the older woman? For the older woman. I didn't really think of it like that, particularly. Um, but I did get cross with certain people that wouldn't mm. take uh, responsibility for their actions. I don't mind anybody behaving terribly badly. I've behaved appallingly in my past. I've done some dreadful things. But I'm quite good at, at saying, I'm really sorry. Mm. I've yeah. done this. I'm a bad, bad woman. Yeah. Please forgive me. I'm a sniveling coward or I've done whatever. But I, I, I don't like when people sort of... Yeah don't take responsibility and can't mm. can't own up to what they've done and obviously you you were the creator of grumpy old women co-creator uh, well, did, did, did it come about because you were you were frustrated at, at the sort of roles or the the parts that women were being offered on TV or the presence that they had the grumpy shows um, they they were they were an opportunity because the the grumpy television shows had done very well indeed and so you know I'm not daft there's a bit of me thinking there's an audience out there there's a brigade yeah. of women there is an enormous what is very nice and people forget that there are some perks to being 50 I mean there's some terrible things as well but women start to be quite nice to each other mm. there, there's this kind of, we go back to school mentally mm. and, and instead of bitching and sniping and competing with each other it's like being back at school where everyone has actually genuinely been quite nice and supportive okay. and you see that in supermarkets sometimes you you watch people and you have the sympathetic nod you know especially at Christmas yeah. when you've got your trolley full and you, you know <laughs> all that and you have middle-aged women going mm. At each other, there's a, a sympathy that I do think we share more with age because we're all more in the same do, boat. Do you think, though? I mean, is one of the good things that you've become wiser? Um, and do you, you do you give that wise stuff like I try to? Yeah, the wise old woman. <laughs> yeah, um, the wise old woman. Well. I, you, you hope to, but there's also the, that six-year-old inside you that never really goes yeah. away, that's capable of, of just getting hysterical and sobbing and, and, and all that kind of thing. Mm. So I, don't, I think we're all a real funny mix, yeah. aren't we? You mm. never really grow and up. And that's what came over um, with you on the... Because, um, you know, mm. people know she was a stand-up yes. and grumpy old woman, and on the jungle they all went, so that's the real yeah. Jenny. Well, what was very odd was that I now have got this useless fan base of nine to twelve year old boys. Now, I 
have never been big. Oh. Well, I don't know, but for some reason, they, they like oh. me. And, you know, so I've got all these boys, oh. and none of them are old enough to buy me a drink. They can't <laughs> come see the show. It's completely hopeless. But they are the ones in the street who are getting really? terribly excited, oh, yeah. And sort nice. of asking their mums to ask me for an autograph. Do you know, autograph. a fan is a fan is a fan is a fan. Well, Just yeah. enjoy it. Yes. Well, you're going to be staying with us uh, for a wee while, wee Thank while you. longer. No problem. Um, but uh, it is time for one last brush. You're still with us? Yay. Yes! I'm going nowhere. <laughs> So, you know, you're back from the jungle. What, what are you up to now? Well, doing? I'm back on the road. I'm on tour. Um, and it's easy to find out. You just Google me and then dates come up. Or you Google your website and it's all there. Can't remember anything. Uh, and, but I know there's one in Salisbury soon. And they're all over the country. You can't really avoid me. Um, and and that's, that's nice. It's nice to resume yeah. the tour because it was Taurus Interrupt Us by the jungle. And this and is the old dog new tricks tour. Yes, it is. It is. Uh, there is a trick at the beginning which I'm not going to divulge. Um, so it's just you? It's just me, yes. Being, and just, being you. Yes, it's a lot about the sort of flip side to being 50, I suppose. You know, the odd side effects, uh, which are many and various. <laughs> and obviously, it's very difficult for me to describe what I do on stage without contravening mm. any of your laws and, and getting you taken <laughs> off air. So it's, it is tricky, but because there is language and there is showing off. And, is it um, quite lonely doing no, it's, on No, because there's, there's people in the audience, hopefully. Well, yeah, that would yeah, be yeah, really well, I mean, lonely. <laughs> And the traveling and well I have a I have a driver come uh, director technician who you know is used to me and I had burble on I've got an iPad oh. and that you know oh. I've got oh. all my tricks and I've got all sorts of things I can play with and do you, do you, have, uh, <laughs> do you have men yeah in your men audience? in the audience yes and and I always say that I'm sort of sponsored by relate because it's very good for men to come see me because after they've spent an hour and a half with me you know they're that much more fond of their partners <laughs> They sort of leave the theatre with their woman that much closer, stroking her hair, whispering sweet nothings into her ear. At least you're not her. <laughs> At least you're is not it, her. Is it, is it, yeah, do you think they really like you, though? Because they've it, obviously come with their partners. Yeah, they're, they're the designated drivers. They always are dragged in, sort of Drags, kicking and screaming. Yeah. You can see the tension on the face, and, and they're the ones that have to give, you know, the lady and usually four of her slightly drunk mates. You know, and you know, they're stuck in some car and there's a big whiff of Chardonnay and all these women, <laughs> cackling women. And so they, it's tough for them. Um, Do you think it's, it's educational for them, though? Because we oh. get that sometimes here. Yeah, you can yeah. spot the men yes. in the audience. They're, and drag, they're the normally sitting dropping. like that. Yeah. You know. Yeah. But it, there's something really gratifying about seeing the shoulders starting to move. Yeah. Halfway I, through. Like, I like a chubby chuckler. I like to look out and see men enjoying themselves. Yeah. I really do. It's, um, they don't heckle you then. No, not much. I, You're I not don't. brave enough. <laughs> I don't, I'm quite deaf anyway, so if anybody <laughs> wants to heckle, they've got to write it down on a we note don't. and leave it on the side of the stage. I'll deal with it in then. very large print. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. No, we, we were talking earlier as well about you know treating men like children. What was your take on oh, that with no, your lovely Jeff? Please. No, I was on your side on that one because my bloke is 62. And if I start treating him like a child, mm. it's not going to be very much time till he is dribbling banana <laughs> and I'm like, you know. <laughs> And I am spoon feeding. I don't want it to start oh, too early, you know. Oh, and I don't know what these treats. What are the treats meant to be? You know, Katy Perry will be sweet. doing a pole dance. I would. Yeah. I'll be chucking them worth as original. You know. <laughs> good boy. Good boy. <laughs> you know. Steve likes cheese, so I might say if you're very, very good, you can have a bit of Stilton. Yeah. <laughs> or, you know, if you're really treating him like a child, it'd be a Dairy Lee triangle, yeah. wouldn't it? Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, obviously he'd expect to eat it off your nipples or something. Yeah. I don't want pressure on us but you know occasionally you do think oh no you should go and sit on the naughty step yeah. now you know? so what about your man now you see i said that you know if you give them a bit of the other they might put the bins out does he put the bins out without the other um well i think well, that, you never know we i think we're just as lazy about sex exactly. and, uh, and and domestic yeah. stuff you, you know i think women do occasionally go oh sex it's a bit like making your own do you mean occasionally <laughs> <laughs> you know you know you should, but you're not sure if you can you be bothered. To. It's one of those, you know. Oh, we can get that, roll it out, you know. <laughs> Ready, done. So in your yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I do, I mean, I'm sure there are women that lie back and think of a new kitchen. Of course. <laughs>
the kitchens are very, very, very expensive, so I think yeah. you do have to do quite a lot for a new kitchen. I got some lovely kitchen. garden furniture out of it. Yeah. <laughs> You know, so there are different types of sets. If you're only doing enough to get yeah, the no. bins taken out, but not a swimming. <laughs> but that's a, a swimming pool, though. But I think what if you're you wanting a swimming pool, garden yeah. furniture, and a new kitchen, then you've got to go for you're it. Really yeah. Yeah. A lot of, lot of, yeah. There's lingerie involved oh, in that, yeah. isn't there? There's proper tricks. Well, lots, lots of derelict triangles. Yeah, yeah. 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 I'd rather, to be honest with you, I'd rather go without. Um, <laughs> if um, what about we were talking about the lying next to the beach body on the beach? Are you? Well, I'm fortunate, as I say, you know, uh, he's a lot older than me, so he should be very grateful to be with me. <laughs> it's one of the tricks. It's one of the tricks. You know when you're young and you think, oh, older man, older yes. man, aren't I clever? Yeah. He's got a car, he's got a flat, he can tie his own shoelaces. Oh, it's a grown-up. <laughs> and then sort of 30 da years down the line, you know, he's turned into a human Toby jug. But, um, <laughs> with fur lined nostrils, but I love him to pieces. And the thing is, neither has looked great on the beach. The only beaches we look good on are pebble beaches in the middle of winter. You know, both of us are better in a cagoule. A cagoule, yes. You know. In a windbreaker. The worst thing in the world is the two of us, you know, there. Are, actually, we're only good if we bury ourselves up to the neck in sand. You know, that's the answer, isn't no, it? No, but in the jungle, you know, you got my your... Old... I got my father's legs out. You, <laughs> you got your body out, didn't you? Did you wear a bikini? I can't remember. I do, of course I didn't wear a bikini, you <laughs> silly girl. Jenny, I was waiting for the shower scene. Yes, I we were waiting. Well, this is, that was the funniest thing. That there was a shower and a pool, and the weather was so awful. The only two people that braved the pool, uh, the pool, the pool, the pool, were me and Alison. And you could hear the cameramen going, "Oh, for heaven's no. sake!" <laughs> you know, where is the swimwear it. model when you need? There's me and Alison marching down. You know, come on, let's have a good swim. You know, swimming for exercise, not to flaunt our swimwear when range. Oh. Your clothes and saying, "Put your clothes." Yes, <laughs> Jenny, it's been fabulous. It's, it's Jenny, no, it's always a pleasure. Thank you very much.